Welcome back, everyone. It's 709 with the housing slump and snow, slow economy. People are trying to do the do-it-yourself home improvement projects, and you can get a lot of ideas at this weekend's Home and Garden Show at our state fairgrounds. One of the experts sharing his tips is John Gidding. He's HGTV's host of Curve Appeal and Design to Sell, and he is here with me right now. So glad that you are here with us this morning. Thank you. First of all, a lot of people are trying to add value to their homes right now, trying to spruce them up. Where do you even start? There are so many places. I can look at my house and I'm like, I don't, I wouldn't even know where to begin. <laughs> well, outside, guess, probably? Outside is a great place to start. Uh, my show, Curb Appeal, is all about how you enter the home. So when people tell me what's the one thing I can improve right off the bat, I always say, just look at your front door. What can you do there? Can you put a fresh coat of paint on it? Are there some new house numbers you can buy? God forbid you have those parallelogram rectangle sticker, sticker numbers. Mm -hmm. If you've got those, you've got a little bit you've of work to do. You've got problems? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about the actual land? because obviously that's the first thing that people see and it's either gonna they're gonna say great house or no yeah. I'll pass it. Well I'll tell you on the drive over here this morning you guys have a pretty serious frost going right now. <laughs> yeah. So my recommendation for you is uh, rocks. Use lots of rocks. Okay. Use this air escape. Make it a dry one because it's gonna take a lot to survive this weather. But uh, yeah we talk about landscaping, low maintenance things, um, but we also talk about the show sort of backstage stuff if people have gossipy questions I'm happy to answer them. <laughs> Gossip, all right. <laughs> we always like that. What about inside of the house. What are some inexpensive things you can do inside? Well, as far as uh, design to sell is concerned, that was a show where we taught people how to spend just $2,000 to really improve the, the sellability of your home. Mm -hmm. And things like um, making sure every room has its own identity. Some people use a room for both a bedroom and an office and uh, you know, kids' playroom. As soon as you've got a little bit of schizophrenia going on, buyers are wondering how they're going to use the room and then they don't end up buying. So just make sure every room has its own identity. It helps the house sell. Good tips. And again, you're going to be there. What are some of the things that you're really going to, during your presentations, what will you show? I have two different presentations today at 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock. And one's for the inside of the house, one's for the outside of the house. So I'll try to really share every single tip and trick I've learned on my years at HGTV. All right. Look forward to it. John, thank you so much for